my friends. Good to see you all. Apologies, I've not made a video for so long, but I've been really, really busy working and I've not really been present, to be honest. Any of you that are astro travellers or, let's say, walk-ins, because I do believe after all these years I'm a walk-in, because sometimes I will just wake up a different person. And it's not, it's not obvious to anybody else, nobody would know but me. But you, you're aware that you suddenly feel different about things, that it's like you're getting to know your family again. It's like you know this is your family because you're in the body where the memories are connected to your soul because the memories are all in our soul, but they connect via magnetic filaments, let's say, to the hardware. And the hardware doesn't store it, doesn't store it in the hardware, it just connects to our reality, to our current um, perception of reality. So when I die, the memories don't die with me. The physical avatar may pass to the other, to the ground and give back to the earth, but the memories go with me, with my soul. They continue on with me. That's how spirits will remember their family. No, it just connects via, like, if you imagine little electrical currents going to your brain synapses, going to your gray matter, and it just basically gives a frequency of, I'm not, I'm not explaining this very well, but our brains are just frequency readers. So we're reading the frequency of memories. So the memory, so I will get slightly different memories when, I, when a new soul comes in. There's still a residual energy there of the memories from the physical avatar. It's always going to connect to my true soul. I have a soul that I came, my true soul that came to this planet and came into this body. But sometimes I will step out and let others in for many reasons. One of the biggest reasons is there's souls who have to finish off karma or who have to learn a lesson um, in whatever that is that I, I am good at. Let's say one of the things that I am very well known for is my patience and my understanding and non-judgment and no drama. I don't have drama. Drama just... It's just a nonsense. Um, there's always a reason for things to happen. Close the window in case the traffic here is going to interrupt my very quiet speaking. So, um, yeah, I, anyone that knows me knows that I have always got a zen-like calm about me. I just understand situations and understand the process and realise what, what things were all for what was this situation for so I'm very good at understanding life I don't dwell on things I don't feel sorry for myself I just take it for what it is so a lot of souls who have been maybe trapped in feeling negativity will then go into my avatar and uh, resolve it through me through using my brain oh my god it's busy traffic holy hell um, and they'll understand situations and they can move on from there. It's like we volunteer. I am not unique in doing this. There are many of you watching this who will also do that. And it may explain to you sometimes when one day you'll get up and you'll just feel very distant, very separate from life. You might start getting triggered by things that would never normally bother you. You feel this, but your personality will override that because... It's not natural to you to to allow to be triggered by things, but the soul that's in you will feel a triggering, will feel a urge to be upset by this or feel emotional, or and you will override that by saying, "Why am I feeling like I want to behave like this?" Oh, for fucking Nora, man! I'm going to pull into this lane here. <laughs> Cars are everywhere. They're going left lane, right lane, everyone's choosing the right lane now, so there must be a higher purpose for that. Um, I had a really anxious feeling this last couple of days about leaving the home. Really anxious. 
I don't mention anything on day one that I feel this anxiety because it could well just be something personal to me and not a global thing. So I, I sit with it for a while and I, I wonder what this is. Is there an entity in my home? It's very likely. Um, hanging about, I'm feeling the negativity from that being. It's making me feel nervous and scared about leaving the home. But it wasn't leaving the home. It was even being in the home. I was like, something bad's going to happen. That's what I feel like. Something bad's going to happen whether I'm at home or not. So I take that and I quiet in the mind and I feel that feeling, I feel it. I don't think about the words, I just feel it like I'm merging into that reality. And I saw a big fuck off, sorry, excuse my language, meteorite, huge meteorite in space. I'm like, oh, is that what I'm nervous about? Something in me sensing that there's a big thing above us. And my feeling was it was going to hit the moon, not Earth, the moon. I'm like, oh, some, something must be getting done about that because there's so many of our brothers and sisters out there circling the earth that they wouldn't let us be annihilated by a, a big rock. I don't think that's how we're going to go. Because when I look into how we're going to go, it's like we're already there. And this is a strange thing I want you to talk about. Many of you will already be in this other place and you will have a feeling of dis disassociation with this world. So this current reality you're in, you may feel like you're separate. You're not really part of it. You're dreamy, you're not really focused, you're clumsy, you're not sharp focused like you would normally be. And you'll be able to notice in your interactions that you're just not quite here. You might think, God, what's wrong with my head? I'm not really focused, you know? I'm making a bit rash decisions, which is not like me. So, when you close your eyes and you look through your psychic eye where you are, you may find that you're in a place that's just full of white light, that you're recharging, you're building up your energy, you're, we've been, we, we have been cooked and are continually being cooked by the galactic wave and its effect on the planet and the magnetosphere. We are continually soaking up this energy and we're transforming as a result of it. So your soul will have to go into some kind of um, stasis where it is utilising that energy, it will transform you through that, with that energy that you've soaked up, it will then work, it goes into a kind of a sleep state where it's then working to, to transform you and put you into your multi-body. Now I've been talking to the Lyrans, uh, they've been specifically around. There was a while I didn't see the Arturians but I think it's because I haven't had any danger because they are the ones that will flash the blue lights at me and warn me that there's not very nice entities hanging around me. And I will get to who that not very nice entity is. But somebody I've heard gushing about lately, and I'm like, they're totally taken in with the charm of this entity. And I, I, I'm not taken in by the charm of this entity at all. I see the bigger picture. But without digressing, um, you will see yourself in a white, very bright white light and it's it's really calming. It's like, feels like heaven, it feels beautiful. You will be mostly there. You, I brought myself back from there this morning because I'm like, I'm going out driving, I need to have all my faculties about me. So I reintegrated my soul light back into my physical avatar because I need it to not crash my car or not, you know just to be, because look, like, there's people just walking in front of the car, right? Just, just weaving through traffic here, the traffic lights. Those people will get themselves killed. So, I need all my faculties around me for things like this. I need to open my window because it's steaming up with me talking. I'm a hot gas man. So you have to force your way out of these junctions. I'm at Fort Kinnaird, Edinburgh. If any of you have ever been to Fort Kinnaird, then you will know it is 
quite a hairy canary experience. But I'm going to buy something for my daughter. A last minute thing that I saw her playing with yesterday and I thought, oh, she would love to have that. It will make such a mess of the carpet. Let's go and buy it. So let's see if they have it. Which is a mistake because now I've got to go back at that roundabout and pull back into traffic again. Just to get to where I'm going next. But hey-ho, never mind. It's all fun. Um, so I was telling you about the light. You're not in your body. Yep, you're probably not in your body right now. You are being... In, you're in a stasis blending your new energy together so what the Lyrans told me is that I asked them what is this solar flash going to do to us because I've been hearing a lot of people a little bit scared of the solar flash and what it's going to do and, it's, and I love suspicious observers because when, he, when I started hearing him talking about this, I was like, ah, oh, we've got somebody in science speaking about it from a different perspective. Brilliant. Because anyone that's followed me knows I've been talking about this since 2010, 2011, about the solar flash and how to not be burnt to a crisp, how to raise your frequency, remove the ego so that you can utilise that solar flash. So I asked them again, what's it going to do? And they said, simple it will allow you to travel in light like us okay that makes sense because you can't go to a higher dimension if you can't travel in light because you need to travel in light to get to it it's like a light walkway to get to higher dimension you can't go into space and travel in space galactically if you cannot travel in light You'll, you, you can't physically do it your soul can you can be extra your consciousness can be extracted into avatars they have there that's capable of space light. You can just go consciously in your your astral body and have experiences, which is what most of us do. Which is why when you are astral travelling and you get taken on board ships, quite often you see beings that are blue light or green light and humanoid shape. They're in their astral form and they're travelling like that. But how do you then move to a new world where you're creating a new family or new new livelihood and you're not physical? How do you get to there? How do you get to that other place? How do you leave this place here? The freq you know, this earth is a frequency band that we are existing on. How do you leave this frequency band without dying? Where you have to have the ability to travel in light, which means your 12 strands of DNA have to be activated by the galactic wave. And it's like, it's like a sine wave. Uh, if you ever follow time wave zero, then you will know that reality goes up in waves and you know, like up in a sine wave and down. So frequency of your planet will raise high, will raise to a peak point. And at that peak point of, of frequency, civilizations collapse and fall. And when it drops to low frequency is when things are built. So when things get so high, it collapses and starts to become a low frequency where things start to build and create again. So it's constantly building, destroying, building and destroying. It's a sine wave of fre frequency. And this will continue. And right now we're at a high. So just like the Roman Empire fell, the American Empire is going to fall. The global elite, should I say, because it's not just America. They may, they may think, they may look like the big boys on the playing field that are orchestrating everything, but they're not. It's by people behind the scenes. So let's just call them the global elite. Um, they are going to fall. It's an obvious, obvious step in the societal curve. Things go up, things go down. Energy is peaking at an all-time high things will collapse because you can't if it's not if it's not in harmony with the expansion then it will be destroyed I hope I'm clear on that so I'm going to do another video I might just pause this actually I might just because I have I've been talking to somebody else uh, and it's very very interesting who I've been talking to and what he has to say and he wants me to write a book about him and it's somebody who 
the name's going to make people say, oh my god, isn't he dark? Isn't he a dark one? Well, perhaps he was, but he's got us a lot to tell you. So I'll pause this just now. I may just do it as two videos. Yeah, okay. I'll pause, I'll, I'll stop this, I'll upload it. Um, this was mainly about just you, why you're feeling so out of it and not really connected to this reality and spaced out because you, and, if, and I want you to look into your mind's eye and see where you are. And if you see the white light around you, please put it in the comment section so I can see how many of you are sharing that white light situation with me, how many of you are going through this upgrade with your DNA. Because your soul's got your energetic body has to upgrade first, and then once you're in your body, it will start upgrading the DNA in your body because they're connected. Hope that makes sense. Okay, I'll be back with the doo -doo -doo, the interview. I'm not telling you. Uh, see you soon. Bye.